step 10. Now these stomps are going to cover huge amounts of surface area. I definitely recommend using your jump. Watch out because he's going to be doing them in pairs quite often. And we move on to the actual second half of the fight. Step 11. He starts this phase with a charge and attack that's going to grapple you and just punish the heck out of you. It's really weird. You can roll towards at the last minute to avoid it, but I usually just run back a little bit and roll away from him and I that actually works a little bit better because if you mess up your timing whatsoever, he's going to grab you. Whereas here, the jump actually gets you some distance away from him. Step 12. This is another variation of that same attack. He's going to come charging at you, hit you, and do a ton of damage. These grapples you can do nothing about if you get caught in it. As you can see, I recommend rolling towards to avoid this one. Step 13, especially if you're playing aggressively like you should be, he's going to be doing this yell AOE all the time and push you back and he charges. Does a little bit of damage, it's more just to shake you off of him. He also does this quite often whenever he's about to do his heavy earth shattering skill. 